Hello everyone and welcome back to Webnew Studio. In this video we will get started with Modern Events Calendar. Join me on this journey of creating the most beautiful and engaging events. Let's get started! Before starting off and testing these features out, I would like to introduce you what you can do with Modern Events Calendar. So this is their landing page and if you go a little bit down, you can see what you can do. You can host any kinds of events with a Modern Events Calendar. You can host virtual, in-person and even hybrid events. Uh, then here you can see the user cases, who is uh, the Modern Events Calendar best for. So. It varies a lot. They are perfect for restaurants, educational institutions, schools, even for small companies, huge companies. You can also uh, organize charities. You can uh, have simple meetings together inside your, let's say, company. You can have uh, uh, job fairs and everything that literally crosses your mind you can do with Modern Events Calendar. Uh, here you can see plenty of event display layouts that they offer so that you can match it with the look and feel of your website. And here you can see the integrations that they have. They, they are perfectly compatible with WooCommerce, WordPress, Google Calendar, Facebook, PayPal, Stripe, MailChimp, Elementor, WPML, and it has the migration so it is uh, perfectly integrating with the other third party tools and apps and plugins. Uh, and also you can find some reviews on it and here you can see the add-ons. It also offers uh, plenty of add-ons that you can make use of. You can uh, buy them uh, one by one here, uh, whichever one you want. It has Zoom integration, it has uh, virtual events integration, advanced import, and everything that just crosses your mind. So let's now go and test them out. So tell me, do you want to get an event page like this where you have all the information necessary for your um, event participants? Well, that's possible with Modern Events Calendar. Um, so here you can see the featured image to so the description. Here you can see all the necessary details, the date, the time, the cost, uh, the location, the category, the organizer even. And here you can see the hourly schedule here. Uh, and you can also see the ticket the register button here so let's try to recreate this uh, and test also the features in action once you download the pro zip of modern events calendar you can head to your wordpress website and download it here as well and after clicking on activate you can start working with it so i would like to mention that i'm using the pro version of modern events calendar although the free version itself is very generous if you want to further upgrade it and use uh, its advanced features then the pro version is the way to go so uh, after you activate it this will appear on your screen so this is the wizard you you can uh, create an event, uh, add a shortcut, and go to the settings with the wizard. Um, here's a getting started video that you can take advantage of. And here you can also import dummy events and dummy shortcuts. Uh, so let's get started with adding an event with using the wizard. Um, so it's very simple. Here you will need to name your uh, event, choose a color that uh, will match with your website and your brand. I will stick to uh, blue. Uh, next, you will need to set the time. Uh, so here you can either check the all day event or uh, you can choose a specific time. So I will say um, 8.30 a.m. to um, let's say 10 p.m. And we are clicking next. You can add a location if you want. Uh, let's say it's City Hall. Mm -hmm. And then next, you can also add an organizer. So I will add uh, Ann Smith. And if you go a little bit down, you can add the phone number. Let's just copy and paste them here. And you can also choose an image from here. So let's take this image, mm -hmm. click on next. And then you can also choose a category. So it's event. You can also add a new one right from here. Here you can uh, write a description. 
Mm -hmm. You have all the formatting options that you can do here. Uh, and after clicking next, you can also set a featured image. Let's say this one. And your event is ready. So it took me like almost two minutes to do so. And if I click here on view event, you can see your event like ready right here. So it's just awesome, right? Uh, but that's not it. So uh, if you close this or go back to your uh, WordPress dashboard, and if you go to all events, here you can see your event that has just been created. So you can either add event from here as well, or you can click here on edit. Here you can make all the changes that didn't manage to make when using the wizard. So you can further enhance your event uh, right here. Um, so uh, let's go a bit down. This is our description. Again, if you want to change it, you can change it. Uh, you can change the coloring. You can change the featured image. And most importantly, if you go to his uh, event details part, you can change uh, some important settings here as well. So let's start with this date and time. So um, you can, uh, from this basic section, you can um, configure the date and time that you've added in the uh, wizard. Uh, you can change it to all the events um, the way you want. Uh, then you can go to advanced and if you can hide the event time and date, you can um, even hide the event time only. Uh, and you can also make some notes on the time. Uh, event repeating. If you want your event to be a recurring event, then you can uh, here check this uh, and you can choose when it will be um, repeated. So let's say every month. So we are choosing here monthly uh, and uh, and to repeat, um, let's say never when whenever we want, we can configure it at any time. Uh, and here you can set a schedule. So here I've already created a, a simple schedule, but here you are free to add it. So um, let's say this is our day one and we are adding a couple of um, hourly uh, schedule here. Um, so let's say from 10 uh, zero to 11 zero we will have a speaker mm -hmm. so uh, that's pretty much it from here you can go and further change the location the venue if you have anything to add here you can add also some useful links for your um, event participants uh, you can add um, event link that will have them right drag them to another page you can have more info by adding for example the uh, speaker videos or speaker uh, page descriptions etc uh, you can go to organizer and again uh, change them to here as well uh, you can change the cost um, so let's say it's 150 and here it says show the minimum price based on tickets if they buy the tickets they will it will show the minimum price and this seo schema you can uh also choose uh if it if it is an active event you can of course um stick to the schedule but if uh, in some case your event was postponed cancelled or it was moved to online you can of course add this uh here and it will uh preview on the front end as well so that's it from here. A couple of changes that you can make on this sidebar. You can choose the category again. You can uh, change the color. And I've already mentioned about the featured image. And don't forget to hit update. And then you can preview it right from this permalink. Mm -hmm. So this is our uh, event. Now the turn is of our shortcuts. Remember when passing around the wizard, I've told you that you can upload some dummy shortcuts from here. So if you click here and OK and upload them, you will be able to display different page views on your website, matching the look and feel of your website. Um, so after uploading them, you are going back to your WordPress dashboard and you are heading to shortcuts. And here you can see the different views. Uh, here you can see the event page, the slider view, the timeline view, the agenda view, the uh, full calendar, countdown view, however you want. So let's just uh, randomly pick any of them. Let's say this one. You simply copy the shortcut because you will find the respective sh shortcut in front of each uh, view type. So you simply copy this and go back to your pages add new 
Here you can name it, let's say events, and simply paste it as a shortcut and clicking on publish. And from here, you can view your page. And since, if you remember, our event was a recurring event, so it recurs every month. So it's October, November, uh, December, January. So this is why there are so many of these events. So you can also head to settings and do a couple of changes there as well. So go a little bit down. And here under this uh, general settings, you can uh, make some changes to the currency that you want. You can change it to all the available currencies you can choose its position however you want to display it you can also activate a uh, captcha for securing your website and getting rid of uh, uh, harmful for example people who want to damage your website uh, you can go to single events and make a couple of changes here as well you can uh, choose the um, event date format either you want for example the day and the month at first and then the year however you want it uh, you can change the uh, event style you can change it to modern and then we will check out how it looks like uh, you can also choose the event cost type you can go to event modules and you can enable a couple of uh, people here such as speakers or organizers which are already uh, enabled uh, you can also uh, enable sponsors locations these are of course uh, enabled the map here uh, the time, the event gallery, the QR co code, the SMS, the uh, other related events for upselling, let's say. Uh, then you can go to front end submission and uh, choose the time format, the event list page here where you want to list it. Uh, the status, uh, you can go to integrations and see uh, what it integrates with. So here you can enable the MailChimp integration and after filling in the API key and the ID, you can now send also automatic uh, emails to your uh, event participants. Uh, and here you can go to the notifications and choose who you want to uh, send the notifications to. Here uh, you will type your uh, name. So let's say it will be our name. You can uh, choose the email, let's say it's this. And you can also choose whether visible or not visible. And you can also set this if you want to edit the notifications uh, per event. And this is regarding the uh, appearance. Again, you can make some changes to the color, the uh, for the title, for the title hover, for the content, the typography. You can change the font uh, the way you want it. Plenty of options, uh, accessibility, the translating options, the CSS. If you have, for example, some skills in CSS, then you can further enhance your uh, uh, design and uh, make some changes with uh, CSS style. So that's pretty much it. That's it for this quick tutorial about getting started with Modern Events Calendar. And if you've still got any questions, please drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And for more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to not miss out any of them. See you next time. Bye.